Hey gang guys, <clears throat> so I'm back at it this morning. Um, I'm just gonna have a bit of a tidy up. Mum and Dad rang, and, well, I rang Mum and Dad just to, I want to actually run them to find out whether they've got a multimeter. Dad's actually got one, and he doesn't. Because um, I want to run a few tests on that, on the capacitor on this thing, on the um, compressor. <coughs> Excuse me, to see if that's what the problem is. Um, from the research I've done, I've watched two or three videos. Um, and I've had a couple of comments on the JAG video, um, and people said it's probably the capacitor's probably died because um, it bypassed that switch. It's still bypassed. Um, I thought about maybe bypassing the um, reset switch just to see maybe that's gone dicky and it won't reset itself. Um, and just stuff like that. But yeah, I want to test that capacitor. I'll do a couple, more, watch a couple more videos and just. Work that out because um, I don't really know much about them except they store energy. Um, years ago, um, when I was playing around with car audio stuff, um, you know, some of the guys that had big systems had capacitors for extra power to power subwoofers and all this stuff. So I, did, I understand a little bit about them, but I, I didn't really know what that was. Um, but now that I've done a wee bit of research, I realise that some of the compressors run a capacitor. Um, to give the motor that extra bit of juice um, to fire them up to run the compressor when they're under load um, so that makes sense so, so obviously if that's dead the circuit's not completing and it won't run so yeah <laughs> I'll do some more research I don't know there might be a way to bypass it just to see if that runs see if the switch will run it but yeah I don't know I'm, I don't want to start figuring around too much and then fry everything so yeah but anyway i'll see if i can when i go to town shortly i'll uh we're gonna go swimming with the young fella but yeah I'm, i might see if i can pick up a, a reasonably priced multimeter um but yeah anyway we'll catch you later on i have a clean up and um yeah and we'll when i do some more on this compressor and bits and pieces or if i do some more on here Hi. Hey gang guys, so I just picked this up in town, multimeter, so I can, mainly so I can test that, but always come in handy. So I open this up, actually I'll point it down here, hopefully you can see me. Right. So I open this up, see what the juice is, or the gel is. So this was... 40 something dollars here in New Zealand. I had a whole heap to choose from. I just picked the sort of the one that was sort of looked like it was reasonable in the middle of the road. Um, I've already sort of semi had it open because I wanted to have a decent look at it and um, the thing. So, manual. bad little unit. Um, I have to sit down and I haven't really used the multimeter a lot to be honest. Um, so yeah but it all looks like it should do the, the job. So um, yeah, we'll go through this and check the um, check this capacitor and bits and pieces if we can figure out how that's um, set up and whatever and um, yeah I'll wait till dad's sort of um, ready 
figure out what he's doing there shortly. Um, we'll have some tea and whatever, and I guess we'll we'll cut this plug off. We'll cut the um, zip ties, unhook the plug, and have a decent look and figure out what's what. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, hopefully um, we'll suss out. I don't really understand this stuff too much, but the more I'll research it, the more I'll understand and figure it out. Um, yeah, like I, I'm happy to work out circuits in cars and follow trace wires and stuff, but some of the sort of stuff's just not really my field. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'll turn the camera around um, and um, just show you. From what I can work out looking at that, there's two different um, sections on this thing. From what I understand, they're um, somewhere like a single what do you call it, a single stage capacitor and something like a, like a dual stage thing. I presume this is, well the way I read it, it might be dual stage but I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, I'm not really up with this sort of stuff, I'm still trying to figure it out, but we'll work it out. But anyway, I'll flick the camera around and just let you just have a wee look at the sticker on it and um, Probably by the time you've seen it, we would have worked it out, but anyway. What I'm trying to read here, I'm trying to work out what it is. I need to do a little bit more research, but... Um, so yeah, I could probably Google that part number and bits and pieces. I presume this is probably the part number for this. And just find out what one's worth in case we need to replace it. Um, the biggest problem is, like, I don't really want to spend... 30 or 40 dollars on that or whatever and then this still be dead so it'd be nice to try and figure out whether this is um whether there's a way we can bypass this to still test the motor without that it probably is but um yeah it would be nice to, be able to just test this to make sure the motor is still driving okay um like whether we can um just probably disconnect the um, breathe the, the um, pipe to fill the tank and just let it vent so it's not building up pressure just make sure it is running properly without the capacitor I don't know just to start it but we'll find out I suppose do some more research cheers hey again guys just got this back together I actually thought I had the camera before and I was putting it back together but it turned off so I'm just about to um, Turn it on and, and just double check it and test it. So I'll um, crank her up and we'll see where she goes. Ah, that's now nah, we bought another one um we are going to get that sorted um we're going to get the, get another capacitor for it but um they decided that we probably really need something a little bit bigger um so this is from the tool shed here in new zealand uh, i'm not sure if they're in australia or not so it's three horsepower um, direct drive V twin. Um, oh, please, I'm gonna close with that. So it's big. Fifty liter. Um, it's about twelve point five or twelve point seven um, CFM. Here's the box for it. Comes with 36 month trade warranty. It's designed for um to the tradesmen, like you know, in their vans and stuff like that. So it might be just New Zealand, I'm not 100 percent sure on that. So if you want the phone number for New Zealand, there it is there. So we, we actually tossed up between one from these guys or one that was very, very similar. 
from the local store where I actually bought the drill from the other day, Mitre 10. Um, made one almost identical, um, but it only came with a 12 month warranty, not a 36 month warranty. So we decided to get the one, this one, because they guaranteed it for, for at least 36 months with a warranty for, for trade guys, for heavy use. Obviously in the uh, in the vans running their yeah, tools and whatever else, you know, what sort of stuff. So hopefully that'll run the DA sander and everything a bit better. Um, if we can't get that to go again, um, what we're going to do is we're going to use the tank and hook it up to that for extra air capacity. But yeah, so so I thought we'd just screw that together and play a joke in this. That was quite funny. Um, but yeah, mainly just to keep all the parts together. But yeah, it's got a um, it's got a small little water trap on it that all comes with it. So yeah, looks like a pretty good little unit. Um, cast iron, like cylinders, not alloy um, or anything like that. So and they actually look very very similar cylinders to they probably are. The same casting as that, I would imagine. They look very, very similar. Um, they've actually got a reasonable, quite a reasonable. I'll put one of these filters off for you, so you can have a bit of a look. Because that's one thing that bugged me with mine once I actually realised what they were like. But these are a foam filter, but they're not a real sort of open one. They're quite. Quite a nice, good um, little foam filter. So it's not really open at all. It's quite a quite a nice fine one. Probably not as quite as good as a um, proper paper filter, but that's a lot better. Look, it's a lot more closed off than that one was that I had had in Australia. So hopefully that'll. Um, Lasts a lot better. Hopefully, we don't have any issues with that. Or Dad doesn't have any issues with it. <clears throat> More to the point. Because hopefully, yeah, in time to come, that um, I'm in the States and won't have to worry about it. But hopefully, it lasts, Dad, you know, for the foreseeable future. So, yeah. Looks like quite a good little machine. So that's from the tool shed in New Zealand. And like I said, I'm not sure whether they're um, in Australia or anything like that. They might be just solely New Zealand, but I'm pretty sure that it will be a rebranded something else. So 50 litre, three horsepower, direct drive. And like I said, it's... Um, any more in here? Just trying to see. That's the model number. If these guys want to look it up, it may be comparable with something else. So you know, like they can put tool shed, tool shed on a box pretty easy. And it's not hard to bang a sticker on it. So it may be something else. Um, just hold on that. Let's pick this other side up. Yeah. Making you see sick. No, I was just trying to see if it actually said that CFM rating on here. No, it doesn't. But when we're looking up online in the booklet, actually, this booklet here. Oh, I'll set this tripod up. So this is the manual. It doesn't really say much. It's unbranded, apart from those bits down the bottom. But basically, it's it's just parts list for all the um, just a few basic warnings safety sort of stuff um here yeah, just parts lists for different <coughs> configurations compressors so it gives you all the parts lists if you actually need parts of them which is kind of handy so um yeah can't tell you much else um but yeah, I'm pretty sure it was like 
5 or 12.7. Alrighty, guys. Cheers. Yeah, it's something you don't see every day. Little mark, a uh, little Asda RX7. Cool. Sweet old Ute in the um, car park where we went going swimming. The front tires are very bald. <laughs> it's almost a brownie, bronzy colour. Sweet. It's mini tubs. It's quite a cool colour. Seventy five BJ. Man, she needs a new front tire or two.